sweet, bitter, salty. Long ago, the four flavors lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the salty nation attacked. Hello, I am Weird Bean, and this is Weird Lore about Cuphead. As you may know, there are different weapons in Cuphead that all excel in different circumstances. But did you know that there is a weapon in the game that most people overlook? A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. I've seen many people struggling with different bosses, and this is because they are bad at the game. But I've spent the past couple of weeks testing and recording information about every weapon and found something shocking. Here we have a chart displaying every weapon and how much damage they do per hit. These numbers are using the best case scenario, so weapons with multiple projectiles, or require you to charge them up, are doing their maximum amount of damage. Charge can do 46 damage, while Chaser only does 2.85. This is because a weapon like Chaser is meant to be easy to use and fires multiple projectiles, while Charge requires slightly more skill. Lobber has a short range, and is only effective in certain circumstances. All of these weapons have comparable DPS in most cases, but there's one thing that we are missing. Each boss has unique abilities and movements, making some weapons stronger than others. This is when I realized that the game actually reveals through the story what the best weapon is. If you remember from the beginning of the game, the ability to shoot is not an innate ability of Cuphead and Mugman. Elder Kettle gives you a potion to help you claim the soul contracts. This is an easy detail to miss as we're just starting the game, but I find it weird that he even has this. If you look closely, you'll see that Elder Kettle has a sword on his back wall. Why would he have this? Was Elder Kettle once a great knight? Probably not, considering he sends two young boys to fight the devil alone. Well, it turns out that in the back of Pork Rind's Emporium, we can see all sorts of different trinkets, similar to what Elder Kettle possesses, including potions that give us new weapons. <laughs> This is what led me to finding what I believe to be the best weapon in Cuphead. See, if it wasn't for the collaborative efforts of Elder Kettle, Pork Rhyme, Cuphead, and Mugman, the devil could not have been defeated. The greatest weapon all along was friendship. It's not about who or how we kill, but about the friends we kill with. While the devil takes advantage of those close to him, Cuphead and Mugman are always working closely together, side by side. Not. Jokes aside, I played through the game using Pea Shooter, Spread, Chaser, Crack Shot, and Converge. I didn't use weapons like Lobber and Charge, because they were either too difficult to use, or too situational for me to recommend them. This shows the amount of time that it took for each of these weapons to kill different bosses through the game. The lower, the better. Obviously, this would be heavily influenced by my playstyle, but it still gives you an idea of what is possible with each of these weapons. I had a feeling Crack Shot might do the best, but I was surprised to find that Pea Shooter was actually able to outperform a lot of other weapons. Spread turned out to be disappointing, possibly because it's difficult to reliably land attacks. Chaser was also not great. It seems if you have Crack Shot or even Pea Shooter available to you, there's really no reason to use Chaser. All along I've heard other people doing challenge runs with Pea Shooter only, and it turns out it's just a really good weapon and not much of a challenge. Based on these results, it seems pretty conclusive that Crackshot is able to perform far better than the other weapons in most circumstances. Yes, but what about the roundabout skill? It turns out that roundabout is pretty good. Let me know in the comments what you think the best weapon is, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye. Come. Together we can make the cup verse a reality.